start the third chapter that is engine trouble and this is our workbook part so here we go we'll go through each and every topic that is provided here playing with words rewrite the sentence using capital letters where necessary so in some places it is written in small letter and which are not correct we have to correct those and write in proper way i have been in agra a lot of times but i am yet to see the taj mahal taj mahal in capital so agra you have to look at we have to look at the taj mahal and here i the doctor prescribed this medicine for the illness the sentence starts with small letter that is wrong so it should be t capital do you know dr nilam who is a general physician do d should be capital and here the dr nilam n should be capital who is a general physician do you think who do you think will be the next president of our country who w is be capital this w should be in caps do you think will be the next president of our country they dug up the earth they t capital the earth for planting the saplings to celebrate earth day this earth day e will be capital suffix is one or more letters that are added at the end of a word to make another so wonder plus full wonderful if you add prefix then it should be before the word add suitable suffixes to the following words and write them in the appropriate columns some words may fit in more than one column kind should follow this one kindness careful beautiful so few are we are getting attachment admire it should be admirable should suitable now content we can write contentless boastful aimless colorful you can write colorless also comfortable countable alert make it alertness black you can write blackness accept acceptable achievement now here i have provided the answers you just take it from here and if you go to the next page that is page number uh, 19 and here you will get the table so you fill it up according to the way we just wrote you know that synonyms are words that have the same or silly similar meaning give to synonym for this word you the dictionary if required acquainted wonder swirling radiant imitate and examine now you have to use the dictionary here and this one to be done by your own i am writing it as hw if you find trouble i would surely help you but any time i may ask you the meaning of this word so be careful to be done by your own write different synonyms of the highlighted words in the following sentence i almost lost my balance back then here you can write i nearly ditej was so angry that he went red in the face angry we can write enraged the mouse is tiny enough to go through that pipe so you can instead of tiny you can write little or small can't you follow what i'm trying to tell you can't you follow so instead of uh, follow will write pursue so can't you pursue what i'm trying to tell you he has been considerate enough to let us go in fast instead of considerate we can write kind enough 
it is necessary that you must listen to me carefully it is compulsory you can write that one to listen to us Now, learning language. You have learned about noun phrase, adjective phrase, and adverb phrases. Remember, a noun phrase is a group of words that works as a noun in a sentence. For example, the news of the plane crash was announced on the television. The news of the plane crash was announced on the television. Now, similarly, the adjective phrase as a, acts as an adjective in a sentence. For example. he gave me a ring of gold of gold is adjective and adverb phrase is an adverb in a sentence in a silent manner it is showing the manner of the verb and then it is asked uh, fill in the blanks with suitable noun phrases so let us see how to fill it up with noun phrase don't forget to call rahul in need does is of no use to us this book is of no use to us these are all noun phrases i saw das a green monster the das is my i saw a green monster the das gave us each gave, gave each of us a chocolate the the man in black shirt last one is my favorite hobby drawing scenery is my favorite hobby now you have to underline the adjective phrase and you have to circle the adverb phrase his parents are doctor who are very successful Second one, Milly completed the project in an efficient manner. So let us encircle it. Efficient manner. While we are observing, Aurora borealis. Observing Aurora borealis is one is a once in a lifetime experience. He walked in a room very cautiously. The boys exercise in the field twice a week. and the package will reach you by the end of the week so i have encircled this uh, adverb phrases because two efficient manner and very cautiously these are the manners and twice a week and the end of the week these are the adverb of time now the remaining things very successful this is adjective and uh, this one is also once in a lifetime experience is also uh, the adverbial phrase